Adventure Center ba? Nandito ako ngayon sa Prince Edward Island and ipapakita ko sa inyo ang Air Force Heritage Park. Ayan. Mga aeroplano po ito, museum nila. So tara, pasok tayo sa loob. And this is located in Summerside, PEI. Ayan guys, let's go! The Air Force Museum here in Summerside. So this is the first airplane that we're gonna see today. It is called CF-101 Budo. Yan ang nickname niya. Zero Okay. This is a, a relic of the Cold War, you could say. We had jet planes flying overhead all the time, all the time, because everyone was fearing nuclear war with the Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. This is a CF-101 was one of the most popular planes in Canadian Air Force. They were designed to carry a lot of fuel and a lot of weapons. Like uh, you know, air-to-ground missiles and stuff like that. But now they, now they, they wouldn't be worth anything to anybody anymore because the planes we have now are much faster, much more maneuverable, more quiet. Let's go to the other plane. Here is the next plane. It's Boeing. Armed Forces uh, Plane during that whole time one near Puerto Rico and another one right here at uh, it must be an Air Force base here at Summerside because that's where they lost it uh, this was this was a plane that was equipped for like surveillance like to, to keeping track of other aircraft and uh, it it had electronic engineers on, on board, like a big crew of them. I think uh, the entire crew was like 31 people or 37 people. 
so they were well equipped. They were equipped to to uh, to fly 1,000 miles away and stay in flight for eight hours and have enough to come back with lots of fuel to spare. There's no sign. So I don't know what this is a Canada airplane also guys. It's a rescue plane. Okay. Another military plane, right? Yellow colors. Probably turbo prop. Right, it's propeller engines. And uh, Canada, you know, it's got a lot of ground to cover, a lot of people to rescue at times. This plane would have been perfect for the job. Uh, they, uh, they didn't give us much information about it, apart from the fact that it's part of the, it was part of the Canadian Armed Forces. What? I said, did you notice something about that plane? No wheels. The back wheels are not even on the back part of the plane. Oh. They're at the front part of the plane. Oh, yeah. That's right. And of course, to stay horizontal, it means that the, most of the weight, I would think, of that plane is on the on front. On the front, yeah. Would be the heaviest part. Yep. So that is called the CP-121 Trucker. Interesting when I saw it, it was worth remembering. Mm -hmm. You want to point something out to them? Where? Why it, is lo why it looks... Probably radar underneath it. Really? The engines are there behind the propellers. Oh! Oh, this is radar. Because that's... Radar inside of that's, that? That's what the plane did after all. Mm -hmm. It was patrolling, looking for enemy aircraft and sea craft. I've noticed something about these planes. Every single one of them in this museum. The wheels themselves carry no weight. The uh, round blocks, and as you can see, there's there's always some room under the yeah. under the tires because yeah. if there's it was carrying space. weight, eventually it would yeah it, uh, the air would escape, and uh, it would be very hard on the rubber. Okay, so that's, that's one way for the museum curators to preserve their building, their their aircraft. Okay, the aircraft behind me is a CP-121, also called a tracker, because that's what this plane would do. It would track submarines, okay? It was equipped with what they call magnetic anomaly detectors. I guess that's one way to 
find out if there's submarines in the water nearby. <clears throat> it was said to be patrolling, you know, Canada's shores and so on to uh, defend the sovereignty of Canada. Um, uh, the total of 99 were built. And I think they, they went into service in 1956, and I think the last one flew in 1990. Uh, it was a very versatile plane, I guess. Uh, it was designed to land on an aircraft carrier. It was built like, several feet shorter than its predecessor, so that it could fit inside the hangars on the, uh, on the aircraft carrier. Um, apart from that, well, okay, it's guys. been retired. It's been retired. Thank you very much for watching Asian's Adventures and Trouble. This is my husband, Andrew Vashon, and this is Asian's Adventures and Trouble. Thank you very much for watching our videos and please subscribe. And also, I would like to thank all the subscribers. I'm in 6,000 already. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you.